Hello, and welcome back to Bobby Sprues, the show where I play my MTG Arena home brews, some of which are surprisingly competitive, but not today. Today we will be playing to not let our opponents play. That's right, land destruction. Remember that if you like this video, click the thumbs up, share with your friends, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment, but please keep it positive. Now let's check out that deck. Land destruction. Clearly the most annoying and infuriating deck to play against. So much so that Wizards doesn't want you to play it. Many years ago in the early 2000s, they started slapping every new card with non-land. Oh, you want to return a permanent? Non-land. It's not, it's not fun. So we're going to play it. This has a nice combination of land destruction and disclaimer, this deck performs much better against decks that are full of non-basics and don't have basics. Why? Because cleansing wildfire. You destroy a land, they get a land back, but it has to be a basic. If they don't have a basic, tough luck. Field of Ruin, same thing. Dire Strain Rampage, same thing. So basically, we're trying to play against decks that don't have a lot of basics. You have Waking the Trolls and Elder Galgaroth to finish the game off at some point. There's no rush, really. And you have a lot of land destruction. You can take out some enchantments, some artifacts. Grease Fang is everywhere. So this is four braids to get rid of Grease Fang. Four Paradise Druid is the only two drop that I could find that would help us ramp into our crucial four drops. Mix of all the lands you could want. Two not bold Slumber Mound to also destroy lands. Pretty straightforward. Just destroy lands until your opponent scoops because most of the time you're not going to be able to kill them. You're just hoping that they don't keep going and going until you finally draw a finisher. But that's okay. We're patient. We can wait all the time in the world. So let's get a taste of this land destroying brew. Let's see who opponent number one is going to be. We have to wait 30 seconds for this. APO Dionysus. I'm gonna call you Apo. This is a good, good hand. We have Cleansing Wildfire and a Dire Strain Rampage. As I said before, hopefully they don't have a lot of basics. Otherwise, it's not gonna go our way, but that's okay. We'll keep trying. We could keep this, but we don't know if they have lots of basics, so I'm going to send that one back. It is possible that they're playing Grease Fang. That looks very much like a Grease Fang deck. Just discard Parhelion. Oh, what a surprise. So we could go for the Cleansing Wildfire. That would be on topic, but we don't know if it'll work. And if it doesn't work and they get a basic and they play their Grease Fang, then that's it for us. So we're actually just gonna play it safe. I know, I know. Doesn't sound like me, but it's not worth risking it. Now, interesting enough, they did not play their Grease Fang. Do they not have it? Apple? What are they doing? So I'm going to do the basics check this way. Because if they don't have one, then we can go for the Cleansing Wildfire. Let's see. 
they do have one. So we're not going to risk it. We'll just wait until they play their Grease Fang. Looks like that's not going to be anytime soon. So we will just keep destroying their lands. Come on, Dion. This is good. Means next turn we can go in, but we're not going to risk it. Because if they have a swamp in hand, there we go. I'm just going to destroy it. I have a backup, so it's fine. Let's go for this one. I want to scry. I will keep that. No, no, I don't want to play anything else. I'm keeping that a braid up. Come on. Come on, game. You're smarter than this. They've got all the black lands in the world. It's going to take a while. But like I said, we're patient. I don't know if the opponent is, but we are. I destroyed it on my turn because I don't want them to have the mana. And they just keep them coming. If we use this one, we can play a Paradise Druid. I don't know what they have in hand. Yes! <laughs> see, see, we don't actually win. We just make sure our opponents don't win either, and eventually they just give up. They're not having it. I don't know what they had in hand. We've destroyed five lands so far, but they still had four in play, so they could have kept going. But hey, I'm not going to judge. I would have scooped as well. Let's go up to another one. We have game number two against Udok. A dock. This is. I'm gonna say it's a good hand. Yeah, we have a ramp and then we have a turn three on the play rubble reading. So we're definitely keeping that one. Start off with her tap land. Okay, interesting. We will. We will pay two. They might be playing rogues. Nope, okay. Don't know what they're playing. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Let's give them the nice. Get rid of one of these. They probably won't have a basic. And even if they do, we're going to kill that Grease Fang. I almost clicked attack. <laughs> I was just trying to end the turn, man. Yeah, yeah. Consider all you like. How about consider scooping? That sounds like a solid plan. Oh, I am so sorry. Were you hoping to use that card for anything in particular? Just keep getting rid of their white. I know they have another one. I know, I know, but that's okay. Elder Gargaroth is surprisingly effective against that deck. Yeah, they have it, but surprisingly the Gar Gargaroth helps.
don't think it'll be enough. But I'll give it a shot. Obviously, they got a backup. Grease Fang, we did not get a backup. A braid. No, it will not be enough. We will gain three life. That is not enough. Not a fun deck to play against. I don't know why Grease Fang is still hanging around. Turn three, pulling off that junk. That's not fun. That's less fun than land destruction. So let's move on. So I just played a game and I forgot to hit re record. Good thing is I'm saving you from it because it was a bad game. Played against a control deck. Counter spells and removal, and yeah, not worth watching. Now we're up against Astro Smash, and this is not a good hand. We don't know if they have basics, and we have one of Braid, but that's not a good hand. This is not much better, but we're not going to go down to lower than this. Their selection of companion makes me think that they're some sort of control. Maybe not. We'll play our ramp. Clearly they have basics. Okay. Let's get rid of that red. I don't know what they use it for, but we'll get rid of it. We don't want another land, please. Against the control deck. I got 12 lands and six spells out of my deck. So that was not fun. We will just destroy the red again. And we will definitely block the attack. Come on, Astro. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Oh, you got Titans of Industry. Okay, okay. Okay. Come on. Do something. Yeah, swing it. Oh, what a surprise. Yeah, I'll block. Yes, look at that. Okay, do something, anything. Nice, nice job. We'll get rid of their basics because we can actually feel they've ruined their castle. And we'll say yes to both of these. It looks like we're actually going to have to clear the board first. We don't know what they have. Oh, so that's how they do it. Okay. That's why they have Titans. Nice. Nice. Yes. Nice. I don't think we have this one. No, because they're just going to copy it. We can kill it, but then we do nothing because 11's coming our way. So, Okay, not our game. Not our game either. Come on, matchmaker. Give some people without any basics in their deck. Come on, seriously. I play tested this deck. I went three and one before I started recording. Why? Very few basics in the opponent's decks. But 
No, it's like, nah, nah. Give them all the basics. Play mono green. Play mono red. I don't know. Mono red? Seriously? This is some kind of BS. No, I don't want to feel the ruin. Just gotta, gotta be positive, you know? Be positive. That's it. Why would you play the land? They're not even good opponents. You play the land after you play the light up the stage. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go all out. Get all the mana you can need. The deck that requires zero IQ to play. I need to clear the board. Don't give me this junk. Nope. Nope. This is not going going well for us. They probably have Ember Cleave, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, that's fine. He wasn't doing anything anyways. Okay, come on. Clear the board. Nope. But may be able to lasted a little longer. If I get the Garger off and they don't get an Ember Cleave, I stand a chance. Not a very good chance, but a chance. Come on. Not what we wanted. Okay, that's not actually very good. So it looks like we do stand a chance. Now I have to take two unless I draw an untapped. I did, luckily. Okay, don't give them Ember Cleave. That's it. Don't give them Ember Cleave. Come on. Come on. You can't get through them, can you? Looks like they have Ember Cleave. They have Ember Cleave, this gets plus one, and then another plus one for Ember Cleave. That'll hit me for eight. So we have to block that one, actually. And we will gain three life. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong one. Oh. That's actually fine. I was supposed to gain life. I did not, but that's okay. We'll do this instead. Should have played my tap land, but at this point, I'm a bit tilted from the opponents we've been getting. It's a pretty decent draw for them. And we played our Boseju, so yeah. Not looking good for us. See what we got here. Let's see what we got here. We are dead. This was a bad game. Very bad game. That's enough for me. So at this point, you might be thinking, why does he keep playing? Is he a masochist? Probably, but I opened with a win and I want to give you a win in the end. That's all I'm trying to do. This is painful for me. It's painful for you because you're watching, like I'm playing.
I don't have an option. You could fast forward, but please don't. Watch the video and enjoy. Maybe Fumi Yosi is going to be our victim. I'm going to keep this. I don't know if it's a good hand. Has lands. I mean, sure, we'll keep it. We want lands. We didn't get lands last game and we lost. Not only did we get the land with basics, it's the land with counter spells. Or are we playing is it? I don't know what we're playing. But I think they don't have non-basics. So we're just going to ramp ourselves. Why? Because I don't want to concede yet. Really, that's it. But I'm pretty sure we lost. Like 95% sure. I don't know what they're playing. Self mill, maybe? But untapped blue lands? That just means we lost. We'll try to destroy one. I don't know if it does anything. Maybe they can redirect it somehow. Destroy one of mine. Definitely not having fun. <laughs> Give me all this stuff to destroy their non-basics. Now the Shuffler is colluding with the matchmaker. There's more collusion here than in all of Trump's ordeals. Look, they drained me. Good job, Fumi. Or should I say a few Miyosi? Let's just kill them both. I thought Lin City was actually well tied up, but apparently not. I take it they have the Oracle, and that's how they plan on winning. They have Narc Amoebas. I don't know what they're doing. Nice, another chill. So that they can bring back their ghouls again. This is painful. This is very painful. Why would you ask me now? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I can kill those creatures later. They can hit me for six. I'll go to eight. I'm still not dead. Go for it. You got it. There's your narc amoeba. We have the Oracle. This is so painful. Six, 
16 cards in hand. That's one. Now they don't have creatures, so if they don't have a creature, oh, there it is. There's the creature, and then they jumpstart two while discarding, return two of their phoenixes. Oh, they had another one in hand. Nice. Come on. Good job. There you go. Come on. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. Not having fun. I play tested. I play tested this four games. I said, yeah, I can make a video out of this. Okay, just one. Like you can queue up with a limited deck and still win more games than what I'm winning now. Nikki, two shoes. They're on the draw, on the play, and I have nothing. This is better. I'm gonna get rid of the waking. Yes, hello. <laughs> and they start off with a basic land, of course. Yes. Oh, they're playing angels. This is wonderful. Just gonna get that out of the way. Because if it grows too much, I can't kill it. That's okay. We have another one. So they're stuck on lands, and that's good. Let's get rid of this one. That dilutes the deck so that there's one fewer land, which lowers the chance that they'll draw land. And then this turn, we can destroy the other one. Get rid of their whites first, because that deck is white first. And then we have a Gargaroth, which is reach, and it should be good against them. So maybe, maybe this is it. Come on, come on. You don't have a way out. Scoop. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mana Screw. Thank you. You made me win one for all my fans out there. This is for you and for Lynn. Wherever you are. Or sorry, she's down there, not up there. We got one. I'm gonna end it there for the games. How do we do? This may be the worst deck I ever make a recording for. It's not combo wishes. It just sucks. And remember in the intro, which I recorded before playing, I said some of which are surprisingly competitive, but this is not. It may have been an understatement. So what would I change about this deck to make it more competitive? I would toss it out and play something else that's not land destruction because the matchmaker is just going to do what matchmaker does and that's it and I'm salty but that's okay I'm still going to post this video because I'm still learning about the whole process and I'm not going to throw away all the effort I put into this was it entertaining? me am I salty? yes but I'm learning and now I know not to play this junk anymore so, till next time. Stay thirsty for these brews. Hit the like, subscribe, share, comment. Keep it positive. Thank you very much.